today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to clip an aerial image from Bing Maps in Open Roads Designer. The programs, websites, and data needed include the Google Earth Pro program and the Open Roads Designer Connect Edition. You need to use the website www.earthpoint.us for conversion of lat long to UTM or any other coordinate system. You need to know the UTM zone information or other coordinate system location to convert surface to grid. You need to know the units that the design area will be in. And finally, you will need a 3D Open Roads DGN file in the correct coordinate system and unit. So in the first step, I will go to Google Earth Pro and locate my project site area, which is, in this case, is located in Tampico, Mexico, and it's going to be all this green space area. I'm going to find a control point that I can use, which will be this water fountain or statue that's located in the middle of this roadway. I will zoom in as close as I can. I'll go to the view, reset the tilt and compass on it. I will add a place mark that I will call control point. I will move it to approximately the center of that water fountain or statue. And it gives me a latitude and longitude. The next step is to go to the um, earthpoint.us website. Let's copy the latitude. to the latitude space, copy the longitude, into the longitude space, press calc. This will give me the UTM coordinates for that location. The next step is to go to my Open Roads Designer file. This is a 3D file. As of right now, the coordinates are set to none. It's just the original seed file. But if I type in coordinate system, I will go to the EPSG location of this site, the UTM location, which is 32614. I'm going to use this UTM 84 high accuracy coordinate system. I want to say OK. I am in that coordinate system now. Go ahead and close this for now. I will add a line so I can locate that point. I'll go back to the Earthpoint US website, go to the UTM centimeter location so that I can get it as close as possible. Copy the northing, which corresponds to the Y in open roads. And I will go back to the website. Copy the easting, which corresponds to the X in Open Roads. Now, just as a check, this point should be the center that the control point that I put in Google Earth Pro. So I will open the Bing Maps. The aerial background map type. I'll zoom in and it's pretty close there. So the next step is I will create a box of what I want to clip. 
So I want that green space. So I'm going to go just a tad bit further than that green space. I'm going to encompass the beach all the way down to the channel. The next step is to go to, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the aerial image. And I'm going back to the coordinate system. Now the coordinate system for any Google map images or Bing map images, which in this case would be the Bing map image, is 900913. I will click on that coordinate system. I will allow it to reproject the data that I've created. Minimum or exit out of that. Zoom into the area. I will go to my raster manager. I will attach Bing Maps. I'll make sure the layers under Arial. You can do that with any one, two roads or Arial with labels. I'm going to stick with Arial for this demonstration. There's our location, and then now I'm going back to the raster manager. I'm going to edit and clip. Make sure the area says element, and make sure the mode is clip boundary. I pick the boundary box. Now it's clipped, but it's in the wrong coordinate system. So the last step of this process is to go back into coordinate system and change this back to the coordinate system you originally started with, which is the 32614 in my case. We use this UTM 84 high accuracy. I say, okay. It's gonna tell me, do you want to reproject this? I say, okay. I zoom and I will go ahead and check the coordinates again for this line and we'll check the northing 246379 1.26 246379 1.26 so those match so we are now complete with our task here. We have created a clipped aerial image from Bing Maps in the correct coordinate system that we will be working in our project.